Hi guys, Ace Face back with another video for you and this is the next part in my Road to Las Vegas Open um, sponsored by Wargames and this is a little update on my list um, video so hopefully you've seen my original list video where I go over the two possible lists that I'll almost certainly take one of them to the Las Vegas Open and I talked about the things I liked about them um, what one I preferred and, and went over them so if you haven't already do check out that video because hopefully it'll be quite interesting to you um, but I always said at the beginning that that was a draft that it wasn't um, fixed that potentially they could change um, and kind of that brings us pretty much up to date so I've played quite a lot of practice games now um, so I've had a good opportunity to test out both lists several times, see what their weaknesses are, see what works really well, and see whether there's any tweaks to make. Um, and that's kind of what I've done. But what I wanted to do straight away is I, I do want to give credit while credit's due. Um, I'm a pretty stubborn, belligerent type um gamer when it comes to lists um, I'm quite set in what I like and it takes a lot for anyone to persuade me that um, my list can be improved or changed well recently as I'm sure you've seen I had an epic encounter with Lawrence from Tabletop Tactics um, we um, had a really cool game um, Please do check that game out. It was it was really really good, really enjoyable, and I'm looking forward to our next game. Um, but afterwards, we talked quite a lot about the list because obviously Lawrence is going to the LVO as well, um, and we're just trying to help each other out. So we, we were talking about how we could strengthen his elder list, and he was talking about how we could potentially tweak this tower list to make it just a little bit better. Um, and he kind of went away and he had to think about it and we we uh, exchanged a few text messages and what have you um and we've come apart we've come together for quite a good idea around what will probably work and um i've kind of decided that this is what i'm going to go with um i've kind of worked it out in my head and it does fill in the gaps um, and basically it is list one so it's exactly the same so it is basically to go over it again it is your two storm surges it is the drone formation and it is the two YFARA battle suits um, but what I have done is I have dropped the commander um, he was a big big chunk of points um, and because of the drones, because there's so many units of drones, um, because their ballistic skill is, is not too bad on its own, you don't really need that hitting on twos. Um, yes, it's helpful, um, and it, it obviously is going to mean you stack up the point, stack up the, uh, the marker lights easier, but you don't really need that volume. So I've dropped that, and I've exchanged that for an ethereal. Um, and I'll tell you why as we kind of go on. Then I've I've also dropped out the crude. Now the crude still do have some big benefits that I will miss out on not having them. They do restrict um, infiltrators potentially and do also um, restrict scouting. So they you need to bear that in mind because that is the downside of this new tink tweaked list. But what I've done now is. By getting rid of the crew and by making some other changes, I now have four strike team squads, five man units, um, all with their rifles. Um, so that's four super scoring units um, that potentially can shoot out quite a lot, particularly at half range if they're within the distance of the ethereal. There's quite a lot of shooting there. Um, and strength five 30 inch um, uh, pulse rifles are nothing to be sneered at. What this has also done is this has then allowed me to tweak the storm surges. Now after a lot of toing and froing, um, I've decided the way to go is to go just with the two driver cannons. The two driver cannons, interceptor, 
um, and the Invon is the way to go. Um, just going to stick with the basic flamers, um, and that's how I'm going to how I'm going to kit them out. And then that gives me exactly 1850 points on the nose, um, which is perfect. I always like the points to round out. Um, and they do on this so they go up to exactly to 1850 points and I think this list will give me the rounding that I need um, to give me a few more units on the board that are a little bit more survivable that can sit on an objective um, and I think it will be the potentially the missing gap to make this list the, the, the real deal so that's what I'm going to be playing. I'm I'm now 99.9% .9 sure that this is the list that will make it to the LVO this year, um, and I'm very excited now that I've got this list down. Um, so that's that's it, guys. T let me know what you think. Really interested to hear your thoughts. Um, first time I'll get an opportunity to lose to use this um, will be um, in the coming battle report with um, Idic Beer. So look forward to that one because you'll get to see this un this this full list get its first run out. So thanks for watching guys um, and again I really do appreciate you watching this uh, um, this journey to the Las Vegas Open. It's been a ball but until the next video um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now guys.